Hi guys, today we're going to talk about designing a Facebook banner on PicMonkey um, for your business or your blog or anything that you might need a Facebook banner for. We're gonna There's a lot of options in PicMonkey, but we'll go through some of the basic ones and some of the easiest ones to make a really nice looking banner. Um, now you'll notice I'm logged in. I have a premium account. You don't have to have a premium account with PicMonkey because it is a free service and there's a lot of free options. But I recommend having a premium account just if you're going to be doing a lot of design work because it is nice to have all of the extra options that they offer. Now the first thing you're want to, going to want to do is go over to design and then you'll see they have an option specifically for the dimensions of a Facebook cover. So you'll click on that one. And there's a couple different things you can do here. If you just want to do like a colored background with your logo or your text on there, you can do that. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it with an image because images tend to be a little more eye-catching on Facebook and people will definitely appreciate those. Okay, so PicMonkey actually allows you to have your own overlay. Um, so you can do that or you can use any of theirs. But for this, we're going to do your own. Now, I just have a stock image here. Because um, I use, I do a lot of stock image graphics, you'll see as I'm going through here. And this is going to be the picture we're going to use. We're going to do for barefoot budgeting. So that's why I'm using a picture of bare feet. You'll see we just stretch it out to cover the entire image. Now, um, the reason that this one stretched out and didn't get too blown is because when I was doing a stock image search I was looking specifically for panoramic images that I knew would be long like this so now that you have your image you can go up now you can do any kind of filter changes up here in this option um, but I like the way this image is so we're just gonna leave it like that but if you want to do any editing these two are really great and have a ton of options we'll say Just stretch your text out however you want to do it. I like to have centered text when I'm doing graphics like this, but you certainly could do it any way you like. And I also like to do um, two different types of text because I think it's really eye-catching when you do that, and it just makes it look a little more bold and easier to read. So you'll notice I used kind of a cursive one and a really bold one to complement each other. And then I like to have them off here, off to the center, because um, when you have a Facebook cover, a lot of this might get cut off on people's phones. And also your profile picture is going to be in this bottom left corner covering up some of it. So I like to have the text over here on the right, typically. So it worked out perfect with this image. Now, typically when I'm doing graphics, I do not use the stack option unless I know for sure that nothing is going to change and I want to add other stuff um, because it's easier. You'll notice if I try to grab this text, sometimes it'll grab the picture and I'll have a really hard time grabbing the text. So that's a good way to prevent that issue from happening, but I usually don't do it unless I'm really close to being done and I know nothing is going to change because then you can't go back and you'd have to start over if you did make a mistake. I also like to save multiple copies throughout the process of designing something if I'm doing a lot and adding a lot of things to it. Um, but for this one, since we're just staying kind of basic with the text and the image and all that, I'll just save it now and be done. And we'll talk a little bit more though before I save here. There's a lot of different things that you can add here all kinds of graphics and things if you want to design something completely different and not use an image there are so many graphics to choose from um, as well as you can do frames on it and that's kind of a good way it makes things look a little more bold to an eye-catching on Facebook and if you're like me and you like to change your graphics a lot and have seasonal graphics you can go in through the themes and you'll see winter Valentine's Halloween all kinds of cool stuff like that so you can go through and add any of those graphics to your Facebook banner as well. And that's how you make a Facebook banner with PicMonkey.